Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week I posted a video letting you guys know about some useful new features that Google had added to the live captions in Chrome Canary, which is an early preview version of the browser. And I'll leave that video down below, but just a quick recap. And as we can see from the GIF once again provided by Leo over on X, uh, Google had added new languages to the live caption feature. And as we can see here in this image provided, the browser now also automatically detects the language, which is also a feature called Live Translate, which I think if you are using live captions as an accessibility feature, this may be a nice move in the right direction. Now, at this stage, though, in Chrome Canary 122, um, the description of Chrome's Live Translate in the settings, the feature, the description of the feature has been updated in Chrome Canary 122. And if we head over to an updated screenshot provided by Leo over on X, yeah, we can see the old description at the top and the new description at the bottom, where it seems now that the Chromium developers want to make it very clear that the captions will be sent to Google so they can be translated. So old description at the top, all it says was automatically translates captions. The new description at the bottom sends captions to Google to automatically translate them. Now, although this may be required to use Live Translate, um, maybe if you are concerned about privacy, if and when this does roll out to the stable version, you may want to turn this feature off. Because obviously, if you are concerned about your data um, and that being automatically sent to the Google servers and you are maybe um, concerned about privacy, this may not be a setting you want to turn on. But obviously, if you are using it as a required accessibility feature, then I think this may be a nice move in the right direction. And in Chrome Canary 122, just to put this all into context, although I haven't received the feature, because as I mentioned, it's still very early days, and I showed you that you could try and enable the feature using a command line flag, which you can check out that detail as mentioned in the previous video, which will be down below. This is more or less where that setting will find itself uh, in the accessibility live caption, live translate page. So that's just putting it into context. This is where that will be found. And as mentioned now, um, Google has uh, updated the description for live translate. As mentioned, they want to make it clear that your data is being sent to their service so that they can automatically translate for you in the browser. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.